I'm sure most of you guys already follow the big names out there like Tifu, Booga, and Mongrel. But what about the pros that don't get a ton of appreciation, huh? The ones grinding it hard to make it? Who's worth checking out? What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right. The one and only Keith Allen. I have an important announcement to make. Please listen. I have a new Instagram. Follow me at your motivation guy. All right. At your motivation guy. This is my new Insta. This is where I'm going to be posting all the videos to inspire you to not only be great in this game, but also in life and to really, truly connect with you and be able to talk with you, communicate with you guys. I believe in you guys. And so follow me on this new Insta as soon as possible. Okay, so today we're going to bring you five of the most underrated pros this past season, man. Now, there's a chance that you've heard of some of these names, okay, or maybe none at all. But regardless of how many you know, there is no doubt that these players deserve way more recognition from the community. So just before we get right into it, I want you to drop a comment telling us what you think and who you think is the most underrated player out there right now. And uh, just try not to mention yourself, okay? And do make sure to check out ProGuys.com where you can learn straight from the top level players. Our courses are updated weekly and feature tips and tricks that come right from some of your favorite pros. And at ProGuys, there's a direct one-on-one -on -one professional coaching, which is awesome, where we can help pinpoint the weaknesses in your gameplay and help you improve on them. So, you want to get better? What are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab my favorite candy. And I'm not sponsored by them. It is just my favorite candy, though. I'm not going to lie about that. It's that bunch of crunch. And let's do this. All right, all right. So first up on our list, it's Arkram. Arkram's a 16-year-old from California. And uh, as you can probably tell from the title, kind of crazy underrated, though. Yeah, a decent number of people know who he is, including yourself, probably. But for the amount of success that this guy has had, you know, we feel like everybody should just know his name. So what kind of success you're probably asking, right? How about double qualified for the World Cup? Yeah. In the first week of dual qualifiers, Ark and his partner Falconer finished first, quickly securing their spot in the finals. For a while after, you know, Arkham really struggled to qualify for solos. It really seemed like he wasn't going to make it. But eventually, in the last week possible, he got first place and he became one of the few pros to qualify for both events. That impressive display over the qualifying weeks even got him signed to 100 Thieves, an org he's still proudly a part of today. At the World Cup Finals, Arkham's solo matches were sort of a struggle. There, he managed to finish 53rd. Hey, that's still 50,000 in the bank. In duos, the contrary happened. Ark and Falconer popped off. They absolutely slew out, getting fifth place and earning themselves about a cool half million each. Yeah, that's not a lot of money, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, that's a lot of talk about his history, but just how is Arkham so dang outstanding? What makes this guy stand out? Good question. Well, this kid has a brain like no other, all right? Not to put down his mechanics or anything like that, but his aim and building abilities are just about what you'd expect from a pro. But his IIQ, guys, is where this guy shines. He's always finding kills in such smart ways. You know, whenever we watch him play in a cash cup, he controls his landing spot, risky reels through smart flanks and positioning. He rarely takes engagements that put him at a disadvantage. For him, it's all about gaining every edge he can. Not just in the early game, though. His smarts carry on for the whole game. Like in this clip right here, and I mean right here, most pros faced with this scenario would probably just try to tunnel in and end up dying in an impossible one versus four situation. But not this guy. He takes height from the storm, manages to sneak in, and lands a meaty shot. He then goes on to control the verticality, picking off the remaining players one by one, and ultimately securing the match for his team. Perfect execution of a genius play. Now, let's see who's up next. All right, so look at this. Coming in hot, it's Triggy. Triggy's a controller player from the US that's recently been dominating in his region. He's only got a few thousand followers across his Twitch and YouTube channels, so he's definitely one of the more unknown players on our list. But don't let his follower account fool you, okay? With the skill that he got, he's worthy of a lot more. You may have noticed that Triggy's the first controller player on this list too. That's because despite what you might think, being a competitive controller player is insanely difficult, guys. Yet Triggy's managed to do pretty well for himself. He's been involved in the comp scene since like nearly the beginning. His first big showing was the Secret Skirmish Tournament in early 2019. There, he partnered up with Bizzle and managed to finish comfortably in fourth place. Ever since then, this guy's been grinding hard and consistently placing in more events. 
Like just recently, Trigi took third in a cash cup. And while everyone likes to meme on controller players for their aim assist, I get it. It's evident from watching Trigi that he doesn't rely on it too heavily in the first place. You know, a lot of his kills actually come from smart positioning and exceptional in-game rotations. He goes in with the correct mindset and he knows things like when to contest high ground versus playing it safe and at the right time to look for a limbs. Triggy's team play is solid as a rock too. His squad got a couple of top 10 finishes in the FNCS this season, qualifying them for the finals. You know, what we love about his team is that it consists of three controller players, Triggy and two guys named Harmful and Vane. Triggy's been with Harmful for like over a year now. Not many people talk about how viable this is, but the experience together can go a long way. You know, if you've ever heard of Triggy before this video, now's the time to take an interest, okay? He's one of the best controller players in his region, and his team actually has a decent shot at winning the FNCS finals. Hopefully they do well, but even if they don't, he's still 100% worth following. Just like this next player, you guys ready? All right, so who are we talking about? It's Andy Lex. Andy hails from France and, for the past year, has been playing for the French organization MCES. Call him the org star player because his results have been nothing but stellar. Lately this season, his squad has been absolutely, I mean absolutely, killing it in the FNCS. A first place finish in week one, all right, fourth place in week two, second in week three, and then first again in week four, are you kidding me? Just how many times can they win? Also, the best outcomes of any European team this season. Yeah, no big deal. And let me tell you this right now. Watching Andy play with them is marvelous. In fights, he works off his teammates incredibly well. And whenever they're in endgame, he's always making sure that they stick together and follow the leader tunneling them in. All in all, man, some of the most beautiful squad play that we've seen this season. But it's not only his squad performance that's been so dominant. You know, recently, Andy Lex traveled to Sweden to play at DreamHack Winter. There were hundreds of participants in a series of matches that went across three grueling days. Ugh, solos. Whew, am I right, guys? My goodness. But <laughs> jokes aside, seriously, with a shocking display of a skill that he has, Andy was able to bring home the silver trophy. All right, so I need you to combine that second place finish with a few fantastic cash cup placements, and it's just plain to see. This dude is really outstanding. So we really think like a massive part of Andy Lex's success, at least as a solo, is due to his defensive play style. You know, for him, it's all about surviving until the end game. Because once he gets there, he knows that he can just earn placement points while slurping up several kill points at the same time. Listen guys, I'm telling you, this guy is a rotational genius. While most players get easily distracted in those hectic end games, all right, Andy does a fantastic job prioritizing. He makes sure to get a head start rotating away from the storm, which gives him ample time to look for a lens from a much safer area. From a survival standpoint, you know, it's like he's always one step ahead of everyone else in the game. The DreamHack format heavily favored placements, so it makes sense that Andy Lex was able to do so well there. Being from France, Andy, of course, speaks French on stream. You know, this might be a deal breaker for some of you guys. However, if you could pass the the language barrier, man, there's a heap of stuff that you can learn by watching his top tier gameplay. Definitely recommend it. Speaking of French players, the next underrated player on our list is Nate. You know, Nate's sort of always been well known in the French community, but outside of that, you know, you'd be surprised to hear his name. And that's disappointing because honestly, you know, he's one of the most mechanically gifted players in not only in Europe, but actually in the entire world. He is so darn good, and yes, I just said my favorite word, darn, that when Mongrel and Benji Fishy were looking for some new squad mates in October, they snagged Nate right up. There was a bit of a rocky start at first, all right? I don't know exactly why, but you know, they managed to fix the issues pretty quickly. Going forward, they placed in the top 10 three times in a row, guaranteeing their spot in the finals. All right, so let's talk a bit about his history and what else he's accomplished. Nate's first dominant showing was in the Share the Love solo event, where he placed second just behind his current teammate, Mongrel. This tourney wasn't huge or anything like that, but hey, it was still a pivotal moment for him. From there, he went on and qualified for the Solar World Cup. Not in the seventh week or the fifth week. I'm not even talking about the third. It was the very first week of the qualifiers. He earned his seat. On the big day, he gave out an amazing performance, earning himself eighth place and a bit under 400 grand. I wonder how that money converts to euros. Hmm. Either way, man, that's a lot of money. And just by watching Nate play, it's obvious just to see how he's made a living as a fragger. Like we said earlier, guys, his mechanics are mind-blowing. I mean, out of this world. Building, editing, aiming, man, whatever you want, he got it. 
absolutely masterful. When combined, these skills make him one of the mightiest box fighters in the world, which we all know has been dominating the competitive meta for pretty much the past year now. We're talking on par with his teammates, Benji and Mongrel, as well as other pros like Booga and Kanata. You know, I know this word gets used a lot, but Nate is undoubtedly cracked. All in all, you know, you should definitely be on the lookout for him. The last underrated player on our list is Epic Whale. You know, you might recognize this NRG Esports member from his phenomenal showing at the World Cup. And while he's probably one of the more popular players on our list, the recognition he deserves just isn't there. Epic Whale's just been so consistent for the past year, guys. He had hardly any trouble qualifying for the World Cup solos. And with a quick partner swap before the last week, he qualified for duels as well. Out of all the players that participated in both events, all right, check this out. Epic Whale averaged the best results. He finished third in solos and 12th in duos, netting himself a crisp $1.25 million. Wow, that's a lot of money. I wonder what he's doing with all that money. Man, hook a brother up. Come on now. You know, ever since he won big in New York, he's been straight up rolling through the competition and online events. Right now, his NA West squad has won two out of the four FNCS qualifier weeks. And in the two they didn't win, they still finished high in third place. Massively impressive, I may add, considering how stressful these events really are. His solo skills haven't dropped off either. It seems that every single week, man, Epic Whale has been just raking it in with the cash cups. He sold just recently. He got back-to-back -back second place finishes, and he rarely finishes outside of the top 30. The amount of skill and game knowledge needed for that level of consistency is unreal. Epic Whale is one of those players that have the complete package. He's very efficient with his building, you know, not too fancy, but that's what we want in a battle royale. He's always on point with rotations, has remarkable aim, and the game sense needed to clutch out scenarios most of us wouldn't even make it out of, okay? So the next time that you and your friends are all discussing who are the best players in the world, hmm, mention Epic Whale. His name definitely deserves to be brought up. His tournament results going all the way back to the Share the Love event are simply beyond reproach. Fortnite did recently put out this really inspiring mini documentary on him. So hopefully he gets a lot more exposure from that because no doubt, yo, this brother has earned it. These players aren't in the spotlight, so, you know, their play styles aren't as known compared to more prominent pros out there. I get it. Which means that, you know, there's a lot you can potentially learn just by watching them. So make sure, guys, you check out Arkham, Triggy, Andylex, Nate, and Epic Whale. They all post YouTube videos on stream on a pretty regular basis. So, you know, if you liked what you saw, click on their channels, all right, in this description and show them some love. All right, guys, once again, I got my new Instagram, Your Motivation Guy. Follow me on that. Connect with me on that. I believe in you guys. Once again, Keith Allen. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed and that you found a new player to learn from. If you did, please leave the video a like and sub to the channel for more videos like it. You know, we aim to put out daily quality content. So remember to use code PROGUYS in the item shop as it really does help this team out. And let us know what you want to see next. We'll see you next time.